couple of months ago I was looking on banggood.com which is my favourite website for electronics um, now I don't know if you've seen my um, franken quad um, creation that I did which is basically made out of a diatone uh, PDB um, Anyway, I was looking at doing a, a Franken Quad Mark II or, or another. I've got two mini quads, and I may actually use this PDB with it. Um, it is basically a PDB, but it's far advanced than the other one because it's got all the headers and everything else that you can put a nose on there. Now, I wouldn't recommend actually putting the nose directly onto here because if you do, you really are going to have to make sure everything's balanced okay. Uh, purely because of the vibrations, um, you're going to get masses of vibration going through the frame, and you're going to get it going through to your gyros, which will inevitably um, knock them out. Anyway, with it, you get a bag of goodies. Let's just go over this board first. So on here, you have you've got. There's actually LEDs, I don't know how many there are LEDs there are, there's quite a few. And you've got LEDs on the bottom. Now what I have noticed is the they've put the red red LEDs at the front and blue LEDs at the back. There's LEDs everywhere actually. But those two LEDs there don't work. So that's why I buy two. Always buy two. I think they're only eight quid. Anyway, you get you get a bag of, bag of goodies with it. Oh, f***ing hell. I've just dropped them all over the bloody floor now. That's just, just unbelievable. I don't know where the rest of it is. Anyway, you get standoffs. Where is... You get standoffs, you get um, female headers that you can put on, I think they're just to put on there. So you can put the nays, um, you stand the nays off then. I really don't know why there's a double sided pad on here. You get a beeper, a word of warning, a strong word of warning. If you're going to fly this and you could put a nays full on it, or you're going to put um, a, a mag somewhere, an external mag. When you put that on there, that thing is supposed to fit. It's supposed to fit on there like that. Now, two things I've noticed is you're not going to be able to plug a USB port in unless you raise it up. Now, to raise it up, you're going to have to have it that high. And these things ain't going to be high enough. No they're not going to be high enough so I don't know what they were thinking I don't know if you're supposed to mount it on there or what I don't know yet now the other thing is if you're using a mag um, on your nays you can't have that there really you can't have it there it'll affect the um, it'll affect the mag massively the mag actually sits on is it there where am I yeah the mag actually sits there so don't Please, please, please don't put that there if you've got a mag on your nays. So what I'm going to do is this. This is my 6S mini quad that I did, which didn't go too well. I don't know what to do with it. I don't know whether to... Uh, anyway, what I'm going to do... I'm going to fit that in there. I'm going to make it the same as my Franken quad. Um, and I've also got... When I can find them... Hang on. I've also got some uh, DYS um, BL30A ESCs. Now that's going to cut the weight down massively because I'm, well I am going to mount them inside, you can see where those ESCs are mounted. That was an absolute masterpiece of wiring that was. 
So to, just to cut the, the, the weight down um, and we'll try it on 4S. I'm not going to try this again on 6S I don't think. But I might do after I've finished it. Oh yeah. I burnt the VTX out. That's uh, what happened. That's why it crashed really. Because I couldn't bloody see. So here we go. I've discovered why the LED on the back isn't working. I don't know if you can see it. But the lens isn't there. I think there's another one that's out as well. So that's why um, some of these didn't work. Luckily, I've got some spares. There. They've even put an arrow on that one to say that the LED is faulty. And <laughs> quality control is crap. This is why I always buy two of everything. Never just buy one. I'll oh, focus, you piece of shit. I've mounted the ESCs, they're not perfectly straight but it'll do the job. Um, that's then going to go on the top like that. So the other thing I've done is, because I want to get this mega mega low profile, um, I've taken the uh, the caps off the, uh, off the power side, so when that's on top there, the caps are actually going to go on the ASC pads, if that's the right, I can't see, I haven't got my glasses on. So the caps are actually going to go on this side, so as I can get this plate as, as low as I possibly can. What I've managed to do is get the um, nase directly mounted, uh, soldered to the board. Um, I've checked the vibration on the motors and there is none whatsoever so I've just got to balance the props. But like I say if you don't um, if you don't get that perfectly balanced you're going to get vibrations and your gyros are going to be all, all over the place. I put a U back on the underside to power um, the 5 volt side of it because there isn't there isn't anywhere for 5 well it hasn't got a 5 volt regulator on board Although there is a 5 volt pad, you actually need to um, power it from your um, the UBEC in your ESC. So that now um, powers up, I hope. If I can do this with one bloody hand. So there you go, the nose is now powered. And like I say, I've changed the LEDs on the back. Um, they were blue, but now they're... And the front, I think the, so yeah, the front ones are red and the back ones are blue. So I've taken the front ones off. I left them in there because they look good. <laughs> to show you uh, what effect um, these beepers, buzzers, whatever you call them, whatever you want to call them, they're basically electromagnetic buzzers. Just to show you what effect it actually has on the nays. I mean that's the mag and I know some people are going to slag me off for this but yes I am using a mag purely because this is all I've got, it's the only nose I've got so the mag itself is there which is fine at the minute and you can see I mean that's not <laughs> that's not very close at all and it goes the same on the back side So if you put this thing anywhere near it, and you've got a mag installed, is that three inches, three and a half inches? So there you go. Well, everything's laid out. The only thing I'm a bit pissed off about is these. Um, Standoffs have got to be that length purely because I've got to put the camera in there. 
and the top plate won't fit with it um, like that because I can't I can't cut into that like I usually do and sink it onto the bottom plate. Obviously, so yeah, I'm just going to put the top plate on now, fit it all together, wire it all up. It's together. It's not finished, but it's together. You can see here, I've put a nylon nut between that nut and the top plate and there's also another one in there which is actually insulating these bolts from this plate. I think the top sides are positive, the bottom sides are negative or vice versa, I don't know. Um, if you get that bolt, if that actually, when you're screwing this down it actually rubs some of the, uh, the screen off. So what happens is it actually shorts that bolt against there and also if you do it on the bottom, the bottom may short against the carbon and it will set on fire believe me. I haven't done it myself but I have seen the videos of people doing it. Fuck. Anyway, it's, um, it is back together like I say. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the battery off, take the GoPro off and I'm going to, going to compare the weight because this was done on the weight as a weight saving exercise. Oh yes, incidentally, there's my Bluetooth module. I have got a Bluetooth module. There it is. That plug there is for the Bluetooth module to go in. Like that. So I can program it in the field. I didn't want to put it anywhere because I can't anyway. So there you go. I think I'm going to try this with 6S as well. Um, I'll try it with 4S to start with just to get it tuned and then I'll uh, bang 6S on it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the battery off, take the GoPro off and I'm going to compare weights uh, against my other one that I did. So this is the uh, the first one I did which was, it goes like stink. Um, as you can see it's all very very low profile um, it really does, it, these, these are Sunny Sky EX2207 2300kV I think they are brilliant motors, absolutely brilliant so what I've done is I've given it about the same weight the GoPro strap, the battery straps and everything else I've given it about the same equipment as my other one just to have some equal comparison. So this one weighs in at 457 grams. And we have a new one with everything lightened. So it's about 100 grams lighter which equates to a something percentage which I'll put on screen now. So with the DYS um, BL30ESCs, which you can't even see, well you can just about see them under there. Um, that power distribution board that I've got from China and everything else all equates to quite a lot of saving. Now I can't maiden it today because it's absolutely pissing it down outside so I'll try and do it in the morning. Fingers crossed, it won't just fly off and disappear on me somewhere. <laughs> yeah.